Okay, Elijah. And then, yeah. And then the. How many It's 18 acres. I've expressed to Alegi that we'd like to measure his farm and that we will be walking around the outside perimeter of his farm to identify his acreage. So does everyone have their unit powered up? Yes. Are you on the main screen that indicates the map and also the area calculation? From the main menu, you should select the area calculation. Select start. What you must do next is to press start and you will walk the perimeter. So, what will we do? Go ahead and press start. From here, we would like to identify our starting point. It can be done with a cutlass or your hat. We can use the, the bus and this bag, for instance. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead, let's go. You can go. Walk the perimeter of the farm until you reach your starting point. Upon reaching your starting point, select Calculate. And give me the reading that you have. Joe, go for it. Sorry, I moved on to the other screen. It was 16.687 or 867, something like that. Perfect. That, I got 16.687. Who else had a GPS unit? Mm -hmm. Alright. What did you get? 16.732. Okay. 16.78. So we can safely say between six units that the acreage is around 16 and a half acres. So uh, that's a little bit under what Alleji thought he had, but uh, was within the reason, Oops, 18 was the estimated. And he ended up with 16 and a half. So from here, you have the option to save track and change units. Go ahead and select Save Track under the farmer's name followed by the first three initials of your community and F for farm. Once this is completed, you have correctly saved the farm acreage. Return to the main menu. From there, you can select the track manager. It has the footprints. Once you've done that, uh, it'll show you a list of the tracks. You should only have one, which is Alleggi's Farm. Go ahead and select Alleggi's Farm. And it brings up another series of selectables. And go ahead and view map. And it'll give you a on-screen display of Alleggi's Farm. So I'll bring the GPS unit as close in proximity as I can to the tree. And I will go ahead and press Mark Waypoint. From the main menu, select Mark Waypoint. Select Save and Edit, then Change Name to save the waypoint information. This can include service providers, nurseries, high-yielding or diseased trees. Once you have entered the information, select the green check to correctly store the waypoint and information. Maybe a leggy, while I was going through the field question uh, interview, he had suggested that this particular tree yields upwards of 30 kilos of cashew uh, per season. So it is something that I could mark as a high yielding tree for maybe grafting purposes. It, it may be a scion bank.